And I'll use purple and pink today for this one. How sweet. I'm fruity. In the, in, the, in the thoughts and minds of Valentine's Day coming up, we'll Ew. use purple and pink. Oh my so we have cotangent <coughs> 8 equals 1. Now, again, all I want you guys to do, remember, we're talking about finding the angle that cotangent equals 1. So we need to remember, what does cotangent equal? Well, there's a couple things. We can say that cotangent of theta is the same thing as 1 over tangent of theta. Okay? And tangent of theta is, is the same thing as 1 over cotangent of theta. All right? So those are kind of reciprocal identities you can work with as far as cotangent. Um, now, so if I'm looking at tangent, and I know the cotangent is 1, therefore, if the cotangent of 1, that means the tangent of theta is also equal to 1. Right? So let's go and look at a unit circle and see what we can draw up here. So if I draw my unit circle, again, I have my first point, which is at pi over 6, or 30 degrees, where I have square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. I have my <coughs> pi over 4, or 45 degrees, which is radical 2 over 2, comma, radical 2 over 2. And then I have my last point, which is pi over 3 at 60 degrees, which is 1 half square root of 3, comma 2. And remember, these are your x and y coordinates for each of these points, which we label t. Now, the thing is, what does tangent and cotangent represent as far as a point t? Well, remember, for any point t on the line, Tangent is equal to y over x, and cotangent would be the reciprocal of that, would be x over y. So what they're saying is, we know they want to find out, well, when is the cotangent equal to 1? So what I'm pretty much asking is, when is my x divided by my y equal to 1? And Cody says? When it's multiplied by the end of its reciprocal. Wait, no. hold on. Yes, Sam. <laughs> Over <laughs> two. two divided by two. square root of two over two. Yes. So what you're saying is this is the only point. When I take my x and divide it by my y, I'm going to get what? One. one. Do these? Does this divided by this give you one? No. Does this divided by this give you one? No. This is the only one that's ever going to produce a one because they're exactly the same, x and y. Well, isn't one divided by one one? So would yeah. it 90 degrees? Um, no, okay, I see. Well, remember, 90 degrees, though, has the coordinate point 0, comma, 1. So if you took the, um, the x would be 0. 1, 1. Huh? 1. 0, comma, 1. 0, comma, 1. Definitely 0, 1. Oh, 1. Right. Sorry, sorry. But do you, so you guys understand why this would be it? So therefore... Um, cotangent of e is equal to 1 when you could say, I'm running out of space. <laughs> so therefore, my theta is equal to pi over 4 or <coughs> 45 degrees. Make sense? Yeah. Nice.